So start on the first website, simply open a new tab right and search Google AI Studio. Yes, you heard me right, a Google AI platform and simply click on the first link right here. You are going to land on this particular interface. Now, normally when you land on this interface, they automatically try to log you or sign you into one of your Gmail accounts. But if they don't go on ahead and just sign in, what you want to do afterwards is simply come to this section where I'm moving the mouse pointer right and click on the third one right here, which says generate media. This is going to pop up. Now, what we are actually looking for is this particular one right here, which is Gemini speech generation. Go on ahead and just click on it. It will take you to this particular interface and don't worry, I understand it looks extremely overwhelming, but it'll be very clear after I'm done explaining everything. So this particular text to speech right here, as you can already tell, it is a Google based AI tool, meaning it is actually going to be good, obviously. Now, one thing I would say is this, if I should choose between 11 laps and this particular AI tool right here, I would go in for this anytime. Yes, 11 laps has its advantages here and there, but when it comes to this particular one, it has unlimited generations. Listen, unlimited generations with multiple languages and no character limits. Like this platform is actually crazy. You know what? Let me just stop talking about this and let me show you real quick. What you want to do immediately is come to this section where I'm moving the mouse pointer right and just select single speaker right here. What you are going to do next is basically just paste your text right here. Afterwards, you go on ahead and just select your voice model or you can select your voice model first then just paste your text right here. So I'm going to select my voice model first. In order to do that, simply come to this section which says voice and just click on this arrow right next to it and select whatever voice model you have right here. One thing else you should keep in mind is this. This is extremely human like and as you can see there are a lot of voice models right here so for the purpose of today's video let me use this very one right here which is leader or leader honestly i really don't know if i'm pronouncing it right or wrong but either ways go on ahead and just click on it just like this what you want to do next is just paste your script right here so just to show you how everything is going to sound right i'm going to use the same prompt or the same script across all the platforms i am going to be revealing in this particular video so i'm simply going to paste it in here just like this now just as i said there is no character limit or word limit on the script you are going to use here yes you heard me right that is as of now i am recording this particular video what you want to do next is simply click on run right here so as you can see right here it is done generating the audio for me immediately what you are going to do is just click on these three lines right here and just click on download to download it onto your device and as you can see it is done downloading now i'm going to try to see if i can play it for you to hear and don't worry if you can't hear it i'm actually going to play the one i have just downloaded for you to hear how it actually sounds his beautiful girlfriend zara a vision in an ivory silk dress, knelt beside him, her perfectly manicured hand resting gently on his own. It's going to be okay, my love, she whispered, her voice a melodious, comforting balm. I believe you hear how it actually pronounces the words and everything. Now, what I'm trying to say is, when it gets to a section where the character is supposed to whisper to another person, just as you heard, it actually whispers. And the way it pronounces the words, it's how should I put it? The human-like nature of it is wild. That is the only way I can put it because if you generate your script with whatever platform you are going to use, say, since you're going to be using it for an African folktale video, let's say you use ChatGPT to generate it. And at a specific section, one of your characters was talking to a group of people and within that, the character actually laughed. If ChatGPT plays a section for it which says laugh, trust me, it is actually going to laugh right here if you use this particular platform here. Now, check this out. I believe I said each character model you select right can actually speak multiple languages. Yes, you heard me right. That is why there are no many voice models right here. If you take a closer look at it, it is not that much. It is just a few right here. Let me use one as an example. Let me just go to Google Gemini and enter this exact prompt in here. Change this script into a Nigerian accent, literally just that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Google AI Studio and just copy the script just like this. There we go. Go back to Google Gemini and simply paste it in here. 
and i'm just going to click submit so it is going to change the script i provided into a nigerian accent script for me as you can see it is done so i'm simply going to copy it like this there we go and go back to google ai studio highlight it right and just delete it and paste the nigerian one we copied from google gemini right here and simply click on run again so as you can see right here the next voice model is done first things first let's just download it real quick now let me play for you to hear how it actually sounds ah my friend this is a beautiful story but let me tell you how we would say it in a proper nigerian way his fine babe zara looking like a queen in a white silk dress she come kneel down beside him her hand perfect and smooth like a baby's skin just they rest gently on top his own my love she whispers so soft her voice like a sweet song it go there all right i am i believe you are hearing what i'm referring to now i'm going to come to google gemini and simply tell it to now make it spanish just like this and just click on submit right here there we go and we are simply going to copy it like this go to google ai studio and let's delete this from here and let's paste the new scripts in here that is for the spanish version now i don't know how to speak spanish so if you are watching this video and you are fluent in the spanish language just let me know about it in the comment section if what it is saying is actually right or wrong and just click on run right here so as you can see it is done first things first we need to download it real quick there we go and now let's just play it for you to hear sara su bella novia un ángel en su vestido de seda color marfil se arrodilló junto a él now as you can see right here or should i say as you can hear it is actually reading it in the Spanish language. Now, this is why I said this is absolutely better than 11 Labs in so many other ways. So go on ahead and just hop onto it and use it real quick before it becomes a paid something because this right here for 100% free is absolutely wild. Now, let's move on to the next AI tool. What you want to do immediately is open a new tab and search Clipchamp and click on the first link right here you'll be taking to this particular interface and what you want to do immediately is click on try for free but since i already have an account on this platform i'm going to click on sign in right here now as you can see i have been signed into my account but this particular message right here actually started popping up about i would say a few weeks ago what this is actually trying to say is you are no longer going to be able to log in or create an account on this platform with your normal google gmail account instead you need a microsoft account before you can create an account here or sign in right here but this is not or will not be in effect as of now but it will come very soon so i'm just going to close this real quick so you should land on this interface after you are done logging in successfully now what you want to do immediately is just click on create a new video so just as you can see this platform right here is a video editing platform it is not dedicated for text to speech like google ai studio and the one we will take a look at after this particular one right here this is a video editing platform but the text to speech feature it comes with is absolutely amazing if i rated google ai studios text to speech around let's say 95 to 98 this would be around solid 80 to 85 let me put it that way you know what let me make it 90 because it is actually that good so what you want to do next is just click on record and create at this very section where i'm moving the mouse pointer just click on record and create this will pop up and simply click on text to speech at the very bottom just like this now what you want to do next is just paste the script right here so just as i said i am going to use the same script throughout the entire platform to show you how they all sound so i'm going to paste the script right here right click and just click on paste now always make sure you are pasting it in the box that pops up underneath the text keep that in mind what you want to do next is just scroll up right and under language click on it and select whatever language you want and as you can see there is a lot and i mean a lot so for african folk to use this right just as i said you need to find one that is close to an african voice it gives it that kind of vibe that is my personal choice of course the one i recommend on this platform is english nigeria or english south africa these are the two that i will personally recommend but you can go on ahead and test the other african languages to see how they sound and just select the one you want after selecting english nigeria or whatever voice model you are going to use 
simply come to the section which says voice right then click this all right next to it and select the voice type you want now the first one right here is a male's voice and the second one is a female's voice so normally i tend to use the female's voice a lot so what you want to do next is just come to the section which says advanced now when you click on advanced right as you can see right here what you can do is decrease the pace or the pitch normally i tend to leave the pitch as it is but the pace is what i decrease a little bit because it is really fast for my liking let's go on ahead and decrease it down to about here this should do just fine and what you want to do next is click on preview to hear how it is going to sound then later you can go on ahead and save it onto your device so after you are done previewing it's just like this go on ahead and just click on save this is also going to take a few minutes to save depending on how long the script is now with this there's actually a limit to the number of characters you can use or is it words i really don't know but it's a limit and the limit is quite reasonable it is around 10,000 words limit or 10,000 characters so it is going to be okay for whatever you are going to use it for personally i have not found any problem with it now as you can see right here it is done saving how are you going to know it is done saving as you can see the save icon is no longer active what you want to do next is just click on export at the very top section right here just like this and at first right we have to click on 480p right here to download it as a video file then later on extract the audio in whatever platform we are using but few weeks ago when i was using this platform was when this particular feature was released go on ahead and just click on audio only this is actually going to download only the audio without the video as well and as you can see right here we are done downloading it so for this particular platform right i actually have to show you what you have to do after you are done generating your first script what you want to do immediately is click on keep editing you are going to land on this interface go on ahead and delete the projects you are working on or you were working on so this was the one we were working on simply just click on it and just click on backspace on your keyboard to actually delete it and this is going to present you with a new interface and simply click on record and create then text to speech and just continue with the process as we did now one thing is keep in mind is when it comes to this section right here with the language right after you are done selecting it that is basically it but when it comes to the advanced section you have to always adjust the pace every single time it is not going to be saved automatically so just as i am doing right here you just click on the advanced like this and just decrease the pace to the same level the first one was at and then you are good to go to proceed with the next step now let's move on to the last ai tool and what you want to do is just open a new tab right and simply search speechma just like this and click on the first link right here you'll be taken to this particular interface now unlike the other platform right which is a video editing platform speechma is a dedicated text-to-speech platform it was actually designed for this purpose only the moment you land on this interface right unlike the others where you need to create an account there's no need for you to create an account yes you had me right so since there's no need for you to create an account and this platform is 100 percent free like the others there are actually some things or some problems you are going to face and as you can see right here there are a lot of ads that are going to pop up so go on ahead and just come to the section right here which says input text and in the box right here simply right click and paste the text you want to use right here what you want to do next is just scroll down that is immediately after pasting your prompt or your script scroll down right and come to this section right here and as you can see it has a lot and i mean a lot of voice models you can pick from if you are going to use this for an african folktale video the voice model i will personally recommend is as always an african voice model what you want to do to select that is come to the section which says all countries and just click on it this is going to pop up and scroll down till you find an african country i'm going to use nigeria right here as always there we go here it is simply just click on like this and just like clip champ it actually has two types right here that is the male and the female and funny enough they actually sound the same that is speech mess models here actually sounds the same as clip Champ's model simply go on ahead and select it like this by clicking on it after you are done then scroll back up right and come to this section right here which says voice effect simply click on voice effect and just as you could adjust the pace and the pitch in clip Champ, you can do the same thing right here you can increase the pitch or just decrease the pitch but normally i like to leave the pitch as it is and the only one i tend to adjust is the speed 
so the speed i leave it around 15 that is minus 15 what you want to do after selecting it like this is click on remember settings so unlike clipchamp where you need to adjust the pace every single time or for each script you are working on with this particular one all you have to do is just click on remember settings and then that is basically it so i'm going to close it real quick and what you are going to do is this you are going to click on this refresh icon right here the one i'm hovering on a new code is going to be generated and you have to enter the code in here first before you can generate your script so i'm going to just enter the code here which is there we go now what you want to do next is just click on generate the only downside to this platform aside from the multiple apps you are going to be seeing all the time is there's actually a limit to the number of characters you are going to use or the number of words i really don't know which one but there's a limitation to it this particular one right here's limitation is extremely severe it is just 2000 words or 2000 characters it is not that much so you can't really use it for a tedious something like a long script or something when it comes to african folktale videos you can either use google ai studio or clipchamp this is actually great for you know something really short and just straightforward so as you can see it is done changing the script into an audio format after it is done changing your script into an audio format it is going to come to this section where i'm hovering the mouse pointer keep that in mind and all you need to do is just scroll up and this is going to be the first one you are working on so i'm going to play it for you to hear how it sounds and don't worry if you can't hear it Let's go on ahead and just click on the download icon right here. And as you can see, it has been downloaded onto my device. So I'm going to play it for you to hear real quick. His beautiful girlfriend, Zara, a vision in an ivory silk dress, knelt beside him, her perfectly manicured hand resting gently on his own. It's going to be okay, my love, she whispered, her voice a melodious, comforting bomb. If you listen to this and it is extremely slow for you, you can go on ahead and just increase the pace if you want. So that is basically everything you need to know about these three free, extremely human-like text-to-speech platforms, which are also perfect for African folktale videos. So what I want to do is this, go on ahead and hop onto them now before they become a paid something in the near future.